Yellow crime tape surrounds the Forum Shopping Center in Northeast Bend, where late Sunday night a gunman went on a violent rampage that, by all accounts, started in the parking lot. The shooter moved through the parking lot from Costco on the west side, shooting rounds from an AR style, um, AR-15 style rifle. Bend Police Department spokesperson Sheila Miller says the gunman, identified as 20-year-old Ethan Miller, stormed at the Safeway store. He was armed with that rifle and a shotgun. We're told the gunman shot and killed 84-year-old customer Glenn Bennett near the entrance. The shooter then moved to the back of the store, where he encountered 66-year-old employee Donald Surratt Jr., who put up a fight. Surratt engaged with the shooter, attempted to disarm him, and may very well have prevented further deaths. Mr. Surratt acted heroically during this terrible incident. Whew. A visibly shaken Miller says Surratt Jr. was shot and killed before the gunman took his own life as responding officers rushed inside the store. All of this played out in less than five minutes, but chances are shoppers will tell you it felt like an eternity. That includes a man who was grabbing some groceries with his four children. We were walking toward the front of the store and I heard what I'm guessing is six, seven shots going off outside the, sh outside the store. And I just turned to my kids. I knew what it was right away. I said, kids, run. In the hours since the Sunday night shooting, detectives have searched the gunman's car and apartment, both located just behind the Safeway store. We're told investigators located three Molotov cocktails, as well as additional ammo and a sawed-off shotgun. We are aware that the shooter may have posted information online regarding his plan. We're investigating this. We have no evidence of previous threats or prior knowledge of the shooter. That leaves the tight-knit community of Bend, as well as so many others, wondering how and why this happened. My deepest sympathies go out with the victims of last night's shooting, as well as to our community who regularly shares peace and safety in our community. And that perception of safety and peace was shattered last night. And we will work to rebuild that as a community.